the Rebbe, the, he said the previous Rebbe related in the Fabrengen as follows. The once he was going with his father, the Rebbe Rashab, and they were walking one of the streets of Rastov. And the Fidik Rebbe mentioned the name of the street. And while they were walking, the Rebbe Rashab was speaking with the Fidik Rebbe a very deep concept in Chassidus. And the Fidik Rebbe delved deeply into the subject matter they were talking and didn't realize that the, Fidi, the Rebbe Rashab had stopped speaking. And he, the Fidik Rebbe, continues to walk immersed in his thoughts. Till the Rebbe Rashab called him back, and then he turned around and he went back to his father, the Rebbe Rashab. When he returned, he said to him as follows The difference between human intellect and godly intellect is human intellect begins with rationale, and from rationale reaches faith. Because intellect itself knows its own limits. Intellect itself understands its own limits and that there is beyond limitation. So that's faith arrived through Seichel. But godly Seichel, Seichel Eliki, starts with Emunah and then brings it down into Seichel. That's what his father told him. The Fidig Rebbe continued to relate. He said, years later, when I was arrested by the Gepa Un Rastov, and he was arrested on the street exactly there where this conversation took place. He was earlier with his father. So they brought him in. He was brought in for questioning. He was, a, was not an arrest. This was a questioning that led to the arrest. But he was exactly there with this conversation with his father happened. So they asked him many questions. And amongst the questions, the Rebbe then, the Fidik Rebbe then told them the difference between God, this teaching between human intellect or rational intellect and godly intellect that he'd heard from his father on that very spot many years earlier. And the Rebbe explains, the difference, the difference between the two, Seichel and Mushi, of course, is, 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 is finite. Is that the realm of the human being. Seichel, the key, that's already creator. Divine, divine knowledge is, is divine. And every, it's demanded from every Jew because every Jew is connected to Hashem that even though he's mortal, finite human being, he should transcend his own his limitations and be one with the, crea with the Creator. So here lies the distinction that if he starts with intellect, so all intellect is limited. So even the faith he arrives at is limited. But the faith, the Amun is only as much as he understands. But if the point of origin is Lamaila, then, then the Amun is unlimited. And additionally, Seichel changes. If he understands differently, he loses the Amun. But if he starts from Amun, from a godly Seichel, from Hashem's perspective, which is boundless, then his understanding is also boundless. And brings all of, and 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 in, in, in broadness and not subject to change. The Rebbe concludes, and now we can explain perhaps why the Rebbe Friedrich Rebbe said this to his to his Soviet interrogators. What do they want? They're trying to take. I'm just translating here. They wanted to take godliness into prison. So if a yid will put himself in that kind of prison. Because his faith is based on his rationale, and he starts with Seichel, then he can be imprisoned by them too. 
If he's a moon, he's a limited one, because he's born in Seichel, then he's subject to the, the, the prison of the, of the Soviets, of the communists. So that's why he announced them in their face that you cannot imprison me. That's what he's telling them. Because a yitz, a muna, is seichel aliki. It starts with seichel aliki. It starts with consciousness, of course. That's where you entertain it all. But it's a seichel aliki. It starts with neshama. It starts with beira, of which there is no limitation and therefore no imprisonment. So basically he was telling them that he is impervious to them to whatever they, they, whatever they wish to do. This, I guess this is the beginning of the imprisonment. So the Rebbe says that at that time when the Rebbe Rashab said this to him, so it permeated the place. He already brought it down. But the revelation of it was by the Fidika Rebbe when he re repeated those words, to, to the communists. And this Rebbe concludes is the Koyach from Yibbe Thomas to give him the every year. That the way to go out of the limits of the Guf and have a Shabbamis is to start with an Emunah which is hiding Seichel, Seichel Aliki, which there's no boundaries. And this affects that even his understanding should be in a way of Bligvul and Merchat. Not an understanding that limits, but an understanding that is expansive without limit. All right, friends, have a wonderful day.